Hello everyone. This is Pauk's Fashion Workshop. I remind you that we post new videos every day. Have a look at me. I'm wearing a silk t-shirt. I love this fabric. I know that it doesn't really look like a regular t-shirt, but it actually is one. There are small chest darts here. I divided them apart and moved some to the armhole, making it more loose. This is what makes this item look like a real t-shirt. Notice that even though this t-shirt fits me perfectly, it's pretty wide and comfortable. I love this t-shirt. When I first saw it, I fell in love immediately. It was made by one of the tailors of my fashion house. I decided to make it because I heard one of the fashion stylists saying that everyone should have silk t-shirts. Long sleeve blouses are not comfortable. They are usually pretty tight, so it's not convenient for me to do something wearing them. Draw patterns, cut fabric, and so on. Such t-shirts are very comfortable. Have a look at it. I'm going to show you how to make a pattern for such silk t-shirt. The neckline is etched with the bias binding. I've already showed you how to make it. This one is made of silk. It's pretty wide because the type of fabric it was made of was 5 cm wide. Watch the video on how to make such bias bindings if you haven't done it yet. All the other sides were just stitched and dashed with the novel locker. I love this t-shirt. If it was white or beige, it would look just like a simple t-shirt. You know that I don't like knitted fabric. I made several tops of knitted fabric last year, and I don't wear most of them anymore. Clothes made of knitted fabrics are usually tight, and I don't like it when everyone sees every detail of my amazing body. I like it when I wear loose clothes and people think that I'm very slim. Now I can move on to the table to start drawing the pattern. This is my basic pattern. I traced it to a piece of tracing paper. I haven't changed anything yet. I just made the distance between them a bit wider. Make sure that the front and the back are more or less even. Don't make too wide front and too tight back. In my pattern, the front is a bit wider than the back. Always check the position of the side seam before you start working. First, I need to make the armhole 2 cm deeper. The technique I'm showing you now is very simple. I also need to make both the front and the back 2 cm wider. I made the armhole 2 cm deeper and the front at the back 2 cm wider. Next, I need to make the shoulders 2 cm wider as well. After that, I need to draw a new armhole. The t-shirt will be very stylish. Notice that no matter how much you change the armhole, this part should be still round. Be very attentive and draw in an armhole. This is how the armhole looks like now. We made it 2 cm deeper and 2 cm wider. Anyway, I didn't change the shape of the armhole. It's still round. This is very important. Next, I need to draw the side seams. I'm making them more straight than they used to be. I don't need the t-shirt to be close-fitting. You can draw absolutely straight lines here. I want to look slim, so I'm making it slightly round. What 
что я сделала? Расширила боковых швах. Have a look here. Углубила I made the side seams two centimeters wider. I made the armhole two centimeters deeper. And I also made the shoulders two centimeters wider. This is how the armhole looks like now. There are still darts on the shoulders. We need to get rid of them. I'll move some of the dart open into the armholes, making them wider. Have a look at my t-shirt once again. Notice that even though there are small darts on the front, these parts are pretty loose. Due to the fact that I made the armholes wider, I can move wearing this t-shirt however I want. I'll move on to working with the darts when I cut the armhole. This is how the armhole looks like now. I love the idea of making silk blouses. I feel very comfortable wearing one now. Next, I need to make the neckline 2.5 cm wider. Remember that if you make the back neckline wider, you should make the front neckline wider as well. This is very important. I also want to make the front neckline 5 cm deeper. You can make it as deep as you want. Draw a beautiful round line. These two details are the same width. The armhole isn't ready yet. The front and the back necklines are. The side seams are also ready. Look what I'm doing. Make a cut wherever you want and open it for about 1.5 cm. Such t-shirts look good both with skirts and trousers. Make them of any length, wear them with jackets and vests. Amazing design. Such t-shirts are very convenient and comfortable. I usually attach pieces of duct tape to the both sides for them not to stick to a table. I made the armhole 1.5 cm wider. Next I need to draw a chest dart. We sometimes make them bias. In this case it's better to make it almost horizontal. Make it just slightly bias. If you do everything the way I show you, you won't have any problems. This is how the front looks like now. Very nice. We work with different patterns a lot, so I think that you already understand how to adjust them to different designs. I remind you that a basic pattern is not a pattern for any particular item. The front pattern is ready. Next time I'll show you how to make a pattern for the back. Be different and beautiful. My name is Pauk Subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.